Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have these sacred stones. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey guys, it's Grace Estes here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're returning. So today I wanted to be telling you guys... <laughs> So today I wanted to talk to you guys about some things that I wish I would have known before I went into high school. I, as an 8th grader, was so terrified of going into high school and I had so much anxiety over it, so many different emotions about it, like it was just a terrifying thing for me and I wish I would have known these things before I went in because high school can be a lot of fun. My high school experience wasn't the best so I'm going to give you some tips on how to get through high school. So number one, I would like to say the nicknames or titles you get in high school don't last. I used to get called different names. I'm not going to say them because they weren't nice. But I used to get called like different names or people pick on other people. And whatever they call you, most likely it's not going to stick. It's not going to be a continuous thing throughout your life. And if it is, that's very unfortunate for you. But I have not had that happen to me. Um, also, clicks. Clicks shouldn't even be a thing. I hate clicks. I think they're so stupid. And the people who don't let you into their click are even stupider. Like, why do you have to have a, an exclusive friend group? That makes no sense. Like, why can't you just be friends with everybody? So, clicks don't stick. Clicks break up. Trust me, I got kicked out of a click in high school. So, or some people would say I separated myself from a click, which I did. But, um,. So clicks don't stick. I don't think that clicks are a very good thing to have. They benefit nobody. Like, why do you want to have an exclusive click? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Another thing that I would like to say is you need to learn to be open to change. I am a person that is very, very scared of change, but high school is definitely a big change. A lot of things will change in high school. Everyone is trying to figure out who they are in high school. People will change. Teachers will change. Like. Everything changes. Your friends change over and over and over again. If you're like me, you have a different best friend every single week. That's just how I am. So be open to change. There's a lot of new things in this world that are out there that... I just touched a spider web! Ah, I don't want to sit in this chair anymore. Ah. Okay. Third, don't dress to impress. I'll tell you that much, honey. Like... Dress to be comfortable, okay? I didn't figure that out till my junior year of high school, but I, I only did three years of high school. I graduated high school a year early, so my junior year was technically my senior year. But I wish I would have known that a long time beforehand because my freshman and sophomore year, I went to school with a full face of makeup every day, like put a cute outfit on, tried to look bomb. Like, who was I looking bomb for? Everyone already knew who I was. Everyone already knew who I looked like. Like, what? So yeah, don't dress to impress. Dress to be comfy because those classes are so boring. Like, and if you're sitting there in school like wearing heels or wearing a tight dress and they're trying to talk about math and stuff, you're like, I don't care, my feet hurt. Please stop. So yeah, dress to be comfy and you can focus better. The bird stopped as soon as I... And then I start talking and the bird starts... This bird hates me and I can see it too. It's like sitting on the corner, like all... Like, if you can see him, on the corner. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Could you please be quiet? <laughs> he flew away right as soon as I asked him to, and I'm running out of daylight, so I need to hurry. Fourth thing is people who bully you. If you're getting bullied in school, one, it is not your fault. Let me say that right now. It is not your fault. That person is either hurting or they're jealous of you or I don't know. It could be a thousand different reasons. They could have a really big, bad home life. They could be going through a breakup or whatever and they're jealous of you and your relationship. So if people are bullying you, just like, skirt, like shove them off to the side. Like don't even waste your time on them. It's not worth it. I've had people constantly pick on me or tell me I'm annoying or I actually was broken up with once for being too happy all the time so people I've lost friends for being too happy all the time or people make fun of me for that and so bullying is stupid when you get to the like root core of it don't listen to bullies 
they are just trying to bring someone else down. Usually when people bully, they're trying to bring someone else down to make them feel better about themselves. And to me, that just doesn't make any sense. Like, I understand hurting someone and, like, the satisfaction sometimes of hurting someone. Like, I could understand that. But other than that, I don't get bullying. So if you're bullying someone, stop it. If you're being bullied, just blow it out the window. Like, it doesn't even matter. Okay, and my last one. I cannot stress this one enough. Learn to be yourself. Oh, my goodness. There's so many people in this world. Why would you want to be anyone other than you? Like, you are an amazing person in yourself. So you need to learn to have the confidence and believe in yourself. And I'm sitting here, like, literally being the worst person to talk about that because I had the hardest time being myself. It took me forever to figure out who I wanted to be and where I wanted to go in life and what I wanted to do. And I still don't know, so... But yeah, so be yourself. High school is a great transition time to figure out who you are, who you want to be, or what you want to be and do in life. And so I suggest to take the time in high school just to be yourself. I know it's really hard because everyone's growing up and everyone's trying to figure out who they are, but people will change and you will change yourself. Like you can watch yourself grow throughout the years. So if there's something you want to do really, really badly, go out and do it. Don't care who's going to make fun of you. I took forever to start making YouTube videos because I thought I would get made fun of constantly. I literally had made videos for two months before I posted my first one and even looking back on my first one, I absolutely hate it. But you eventually gotta post your first one, you gotta do it, you gotta be yourself, you gotta learn to grow, you gotta go in life, go, 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 like yes honey, sweetie pie, pumpkin, wow. There's nobody else in this world that can be you. So why not be authentically yourself and be unapologetically yourself? Don't care what other people think about you. It does not matter. It does not matter. And the final thing I wanna say is your friends will change. Friends always change. They come and go. I used to think in high school that I would be stuck with these people forever. I would have to see them every single day and I just thought it was just the worst thing in the world like thinking about living my life with these people I couldn't stand for the rest of my life. But you know what? They're all in college now. Everyone's gone. Like even people I did go to school with after I graduated high school like went to college with. I didn't talk to them ever because literally when you're at school you're going to class and you don't say a word to anybody because the teacher usually or the professor usually screams at you so you don't really have time to talk and make friends in college unless you're going to like parties or you're in a sorority or a frat like that's how you make your friends being honest I don't talk to but maybe two people from high school still like I have no friends from high school so guys, I'm sorry this was just a really big jumbled up mess. I actually had written out everything I wanted to say and left it at my house, which is depressing. And I'm running out of daylight, as you can see on the, whatever this is, window door behind me, the sun is setting. So I am gonna stop it here, but I hope any of my advice helped you guys. High school is a hard time, but I know you can get through it. I believe in you. If anybody ever wants to talk to me or has questions about high school that needs advice, I am here for you and I love you. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.